Hi everyone, I'm Scythe. Welcome back to my channel. In case you haven't noticed, this is my first video, so really there's no one coming back here. Glorious! Anyways, uh, today I'm going to be following a Simply Nail Logical nail art tutorial. Yes, Simply Nail Logical did nail art. I'm aware. It's a joke, but I, I don't really care. I think she still does a good amount of nail art, and I think it's just something that's really fun to watch, because she still gives tips in her videos, even if they're more silly-based, but she still, like, goes through the process, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna go into her more older videos, though, and look up for a nail art tutorial that I can use. So I very recently got into nail art um, in the past couple of months. Simply Nail Logical actually got me into nail art, which is something I really, really am happy for. She sort of just got me on the trend. I started watching her videos. I enjoyed the content and I learned a lot about nail polish and nail art and I started doing it because I've always had long nails. So my entire life I've actually had really, really long nails. Uh, not like really, really long, but just like longer than average. You'll see it on the nail cam later. Anyways, but, um, and I've always tried to keep them neat and pretty because I just like them longer. Mainly because like whenever you cut them, you get that weird feeling when you touch stuff and I just couldn't stand it. So I never liked to cut them. So I didn't, much opposed to my entire family. Um, so what I did then, I just grew them out and enjoyed it. And everyone was always complimenting me like, oh my gosh, Trevor, your nails are so amazing. I'm like, thank you, I didn't do anything. I literally just cut them with nail clippers. But I've had naturally really good nails my entire life, so I figured it wouldn't be a bad idea to decorate them with polish in the more recent times. So that's what we're doing here today. I have a lot of nail art experience just like going on myself and practicing for a couple months, but I am still sort of an amateur. I haven't even been doing it for more than a year, and yet I'm going to be doing nail tech school later this summer. <laughs> Great. Anyways, so today I'm going to be following a Simply Knowledgeable Nail Art tutorial, and this is going to be a fun, wild ride. So let's just get right in. All right, so I've actually already picked out a tutorial. Um, I did it in a past take, but apparently the camera wasn't recording. Hopefully it's recording this time. We'll see what happens. Anyways, uh, so I picked out the Easy Nail Art Blobicure. Ooh, look at that. All my work is so Wow. Look at that view number. Look at that. Those were the olden days. Anyways, so we're just gonna start it now. It's only one minute long, so that means she doesn't have any audio. I watched her video where she did it. I'm just acting like a Simply Neological fan. That's fine. Her older videos don't have any audio in them. Well, they do have music, I'm guessing. I'm not gonna listen to it on here, but they do have music. It just doesn't have any voiceovers because, you know, she didn't like doing voiceovers at first and she later did them. So you can tell when their voiceovers are added because it went from like one minute to like four minutes long. So yeah, so we're just gonna do the blob here. I've never done one of these before. I've always been interested in it, seeing like her past videos. So we're gonna see what happens. Mm -hmm. So she's using glitter-based polishes. That's fun. Fun transitions. Transitions were just such a thing. Okay, so here she goes. Um, she's applying first coat of polish. So unfortunately, she did not use a base coat in that. But, I don't do that. Now I'm applying some Und Peel Off Base Coat right here. Let me get the nail cam going. Yes, it's my phone. I'm filming with my tablet. It's great. It's all, everything here is fantastic right now. I'm going to be applying that on my nails. Oh my gosh. So we had the really tall chairs and I was swinging from them as children do because you like to swing from stuff because swinging is fun. That's why we have swings. I'll pick up my polishes while I'm doing this. So what happened, I was swinging from the chair back and forth, back and forth, having fun. And then my dad was like, hey, Get off the chair, you're gonna fall. And me, being two and a half years old, was like, no! So I kept swinging back and forth, back and forth, and I fell, and I almost cut my thumb off. So, yeah, it was apparently hanging by like a little skin of thread. So we sewed it back on. I didn't, well, no, we went to the hospital and they sewed it back on. It's okay now, but now it has a really, really weird nail, and actually the nail itself is really, really thick, like, um, there. So, it's difficult to see because it won't focus too easy, but that's my thumbnail. And here's my other thumbnail. So you can see how thick it is there, compared to that one. You know, apparently getting the stitches off of me was not fine. I'm not sure if this was with me or with my brother. Because my oldest brother, we all end up having get stitches in us at one point or another. But anyways, my oldest brother or me, we had stitches on some part of our body, and we were sitting there in our bedroom, and our dad would come in, when it was time to get the stitches off, our dad would come in while we were sleeping, take it off, because he, you know, is a doctor, and he would take it off, and then would wake up and start crying because it hurt a lot. So, like, for the entire week, he took out the six stitches one night by night. So that's a fun, fun thing that we made him do. So now that's all on, um, here is the colors I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this Iridescent Peacock from Hot Topic. 
I honestly don't know if like if this is just Hot Topic or their brand, but anyways, that's what I'm going to be doing here. And I'm also going to be using this, what is it, Beauty Concepts. There's no like name for it, but this Beauty Concepts, it says number two. I don't know, it's from like their Shimmers collection. Um, so I went to Hot Topic and been around a while. And I went and looked at the nail polishes because I was looking for glow in the dark nail polish because that's a really cool thing. I don't know where else it exists except Hot Topic. And also they have the really cool skull bottles. So what happened, I was looking through it and I was like, okay, first of all, these polishes are like two for $5, so that's good. But like they're probably really crappy. They're really crappy quality. Actually, they're not. Uh, Hot Topic polishes are actually very nice. So anyways, time to continue with the video. We're painting the first coat of polishes and then she's doing the accent nail a different color. And then a very thick second coat and then blob it on with the end of the brush. That easy, huh? Doubt it. Anyways, so here's one tip that I know when it comes to nail art. Um, always do your accent nail first. Ah! Hi. Don't be cheap like me. Get yourself an actual camera with enough space to hold more than four minutes of video at a time before you have to delete some of the apps on your tablet. Um, cause that's just what happened to me. So yeah, um, I basically missed the entire process of me doing this. So I'm just gonna do a voiceover of like the camera footage I have of my nails. But basically what I did was paint another coat of that polish on. Then I went and did a super duper thick coat and then I went and I did, and I blopped it on. <laughs> Anyways, it's okay though, cause like, I mean, I have it all on here too. So I'll just have to do most of this through voiceovers. So the next instruction is to add a very, very runny, thick layer of your base polish. Then you take a thick amount of your other polish and blob it on. Oh crap, that's too much, but we're gonna make it work. Now it looks like a Yoshi egg. Heh. <laughs> First time, just don't, don't, don't. Okay, that actually doesn't look half bad. It looks a little bit messy, but now we know. I just hope it doesn't drip off of my nail. Anyways, on to the other ones. So I just do what I did, except with the opposite colors. So, um, let's see, it's kind of difficult, honestly, getting, like, the right amount on there, because, like, I'm used to doing thin coats, so what I think would be a good idea is to just apply two coats right then and there. Now, normally, I would not want to, like, you know, interrupt this and let it dry and do cleanup later, but this is, like, 15 pounds of nail polish on my nail at once, so I don't have to worry about it drying. So to make drops bigger, I found it's easiest, if you see how to make that one bigger, I just repeatedly dabbed on it instead of like trying to brush it around bigger. So the Simply Nail Logical tutorial was actually uh, pretty darn useful, I'd say. Um, it worked. I did it. Wait, I still have to do top coat. <laughs> so I'm just gonna film the outro now as if I have already done the top coat. So just imagine, if you will, a world where the top, where these are dry already and the top coat is on there. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. This was really fun. Uh, Christine, if you see this, I hope you enjoyed. I hope I did your old video justice. It happened again. <laughs> but basically, I was sort of like going through the outro. So yeah, um, yeah, uh, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe, I guess. There isn't much more to watch right now except some dumb comedy skits. So <laughs> that's fun. Anyways, um, if you guys want to see different types of content, I'm very versatile. I can do a lot of stuff. I can do rants. I can do more nail art. I can do my nail art, watching other people's nail art. I can do um, stuff related to theater and arts, you know, dancing, singing, acting. I can do stuff like that if you'd like. Um, I can do skincare and hair care, video games. So yeah, um, I'm kind of versatile. Just tell me what you want and I'll try to make more of that content. Of course, I'm going to initially go for what I want to make because I want to make it and that'll be fun for me. Yeah, I hope you guys had fun time watching this and I'll see you guys next time. 
Bye. Also, be sure to follow my Instagram. You can also follow me on TikTok if you want. <laughs> Plug. You know, now that I look at it, I mean, I really did make Yoshi's eggs. Like, the silver one is like Yoshi's egg. The other ones are like inverted Yoshi's eggs. But I just made Yoshi. 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 <laughs> Yoshi. How about that? Ooh, Yoshi. How does that sound? Hmm? No, that would be something that would happen in a place that's not family-friendly content. Yoshi.